What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the homestead. If you're new to the channel, my name is... What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the homestead. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mike. And I'm Liz. And we are standing in our 36 by 48 shop house homestead that we have built all DIY, kind of tucked it into the Idaho mountains here. And what we're working on today is some kickboards for the stairs in the mudroom behind us. Mm -hmm. So we've had the stairs up for a while, but they haven't been quite finished. So today we're gonna go through and cover, like Mike said, put the kickboards up and cover that so that we can keep the heat in the mudroom and upstairs. Yeah. And the boards that we're using for those are thin little boards that we've milled on our Harbor Freight sawmill. So mm -hmm. they've been in the shop drying now for about a month. Yep. And we deem them ready to use. Yeah, they're at about 12%. So we're a little less than 12%. I know it's just slightly high on the uh, moisture content scale, but we're gonna go for it. I think it's gonna be good. Keep your fingers crossed. Yeah, we feel comfortable with it. Um, on average, yeah, we think the boards are gonna be pretty good. I think it's gonna be good. So we're gonna start out by planing them down. We're gonna make a few cuts on them after that. We're gonna stain them, gonna stain them like a nice dark finish, mm -hmm. and then we'll put them on the stairs. It's gonna look good. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. I'm excited. Let's get to it. Let's do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's a little scared. So we got these boards all planed down. We needed six of them. Each one of these should be about nine feet long um, and we need 12 at four feet. So we got six of these, should be plenty. We did notice that the Harbor Freight planner, this one especially, you can see it's leaving like a black mark down the edge. So Liz and I did buy the extended warranty for this. I think we're probably gonna end up returning it. You know, it's definitely worked for us for this little bit and we have definitely fed some wood through it too but I don't think it should be doing this in the short amount of time that we've had it. So we probably will be returning it and getting a better one. So if you guys have any recommendations on a pretty decent planer, let us know in the comments down below. We appreciate it. So after just like minimal investigation, I don't know, I'll check this out. Let's see if you can see the glare in the camera. What you can see, you almost can. You can see like little squares in that center plate. 
Let me move it over here. Yeah, so that's a way better view. You can see in that center plate, right in there, it's kind of wavy and bumpy, and that might have something to do with it. So we will be returning that for sure. So these are the dado blades that we use for the shiplap. Let's see, that's not plugged in yet. No. Okay. Switch those out just to a regular blade. Um, yeah, it's just a regular blade. We have a regular blade. Cheapo Home Depot. Our new outlets are working perfectly. I saved those parts too, I just don't know where. <laughs> that's always the big question. All right, babe, I'm gonna need your help. Hi, Goofy. Okay. There's a way to keep that from spinning, you know, while you loosen it. Is it that thing, the orange thing? I don't think it is. So that would go down in there. What way's loose and what way's oh, loose? Well, sometimes they're backwards now. Put the spaghetti for dinner. Sure. We got some ground beef. and 15. So we got the width measured and cut. And so now we're gonna do the length, cut it to length. And we just wanna make sure that they fit in there at the measurements that we're doing, see how it looks. And then we're gonna bust them all out. <laughs> June, you got some schmutz all over you. Schmutz? Schmutz on the boot? She does not mind. She prefers it actually. Okay. And then let's double check that. What'd you say? 46 and what? Five eighths. Oh, yep. Yeah, no, that's wrong. I was measuring from this. That is. Cut them all at 48, and then if we have to, we'll sand down a little, you know? Yeah. Make it look right.
some more pinoling. So we totally forgot that the first gap in the stairs, the very first one is an inch thicker than all the other ones. So we went ahead and planed up and cut all of them at the exact length. And then we forgot that this one needed to be thicker. Exact width. Width, thank you. But we found another board. Hopefully we don't have to pull that planer back out. Let's see if it works. See if it works. That'll, yeah. Okay, and then we'll just save that shitty scene off the edges. It's the same wood. Saved by the bell. Saved by the bell. Not milled wood, but <laughs> same wood. So I'm actually going to start sanding and staining, and Mike is going to measure all the boards, get those cut. I'm going to slap the stain on them. I have to sand this down. This is actually just a leftover board that we used, I think, for the trim outside. So I'm going to get that stain off, and we're going to restain them. Forty-seven, seven, Okay, so we just finished a little lunch. Mike got all the boards cut here. So next up, we just have to stain, wait for it to dry, and we can put these things up. So the color we are doing for these is English chestnut is a little bit darker. We're kind of going for a two-tone look. The kick plates are going to be darker and then the top of the stairs are going to be a little bit lighter. I think it's going to look pretty nice. All right, guys, so we got all these boards stained up. Man, it looks super good, like, and that's still wet, so I think it's gonna dry super nice. And we're just gonna leave just the stain, no shiny finish for the kickboards, right? Right, I think, yep, just the stain should do it. Yeah, so give these, I don't know, an hour or so, maybe a little longer. Wait till they're dry. Wait till they're dry and throw them up. So this is that different one. You can see it's just a hair darker. So we'll see how it looks on the bottom. Might not be super noticeable, but if it is, we'll replace it. Okay. 
We forgot one. Ah, he's counting. <laughs> right? Good thing you counted. Not enough. Okay, I'll grab that stain. Right, so we think these boards are ready to go. Um, a little side note, this is all Ponderosa. So if you guys remember the big pile of wood that we had brought up a month or so ago, this is that, the Ponderosa pine. Um, I like your thing. Thanks, dear. We don't have a chunk of two by four as a problem because we've used all of them. So each of these measurements is actually slightly different. So we had gone through and measured them all individually and then have them marked. So one through 12. So this is gonna be the bottom board. must have been feeling a little funny when he was measuring because board number 11 was a decent what's wrong with 12 uh oh <laughs> he was feeling funny for sure so 11 was definitely too short so we're gonna stain this one up real quick let it dry and then replace that one for the other number 11 and we're cutting 12 and he has to cut 12 because he measured that one wrong too i don't it's not off by much that's okay not wrong just slightly off fine. Hopefully she fits. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Yeah, it does. It came out nice. I mean, it's rough cut lumber still, so 
It's definitely not perfect. No, definitely you know? room for error. Um, there's a few options we could do. And guys, I mean like these cracks, they're like a 16th of an inch, but since there's light behind it, it kind of makes it stand out a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking maybe we could either put like a board back there to mm -hmm. cover that gap. Just the light gap. That's all I yeah, want. There's gone. only a couple, really, that it's that noticeable. Yeah. Um, or even we could put, like, some quarter round trim on the underneath there, you know, and, like, cover it up with trim. Mm -hmm. So we have a few options. But, I mean, for the price we paid right. for this lumber. <laughs> yeah, we cut the tree down, it. milled it up, mm -hmm. you know, made the boards this is all the, here. Yeah, the first one that we've, like, gone from a living tree to a finished product mm -hmm. right here. Everything else has already been, like, dead that we've milled. Well, except for that one cedar tree that we cut down by the road. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, we haven't used it yet, though. Oh, I thought it was that wall over there. No. No? No. Oh. Yeah, this is the first tree that we've, that's gone from living to finished product. Mm hmm Yeah. That wall was stuff that we got from the mill. Oh, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah, we're super proud of it. Yeah. I think it looks awesome. Um, oh yeah, we wanted to mention, we do want to put like the polyurethane over the top of the stairs, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but we were talking this morning and you have to let that stuff sit for like 24 hours. We decided it's not a very good winter project. Um, <laughs> it's tough yeah. when you need to use these stairs. Yeah, we, this is the only way up and down. So we were thinking we're going to have to like kick the cats out and then us and the dogs leave for the day. Yeah, maybe come summertime we'll like set up a little camp outside and like make a project or yeah, a project of it. and. Right. Yeah, just something, but yeah, definitely going to have to wait on that one. Yeah. It kind of sucks. A little inconvenient to have to, you know, do it and then leave for 24 hours. Yeah, which is what is it fine. is. Mm -hmm. We're good with it. Yeah, but we'll get the, the treads all sealed up here soon. But as far as like the kickboards go, this thing's pretty much wrapped up and that does a couple things for us. It's sealing off the heat. Mm -hmm. It's aesthetically pleasing. It looks much nicer. <laughs> yeah, for... <laughs> The cats were the only ones that could get in and out, so they might not be too happy, but they'll live. Yep. So oh, well. It's fine. Yep. On to the next project, I suppose. There's plenty of them. Yes. All so. right. Well, we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, leave us a comment down below if you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next one. See you next time. Bye. Caught a vibe. Apparently, we're putting them up now. <laughs> Change of plans. Yeah, yeah. We Change never know. That wasn't so bad. You're good. It looks good. You're good, man. It looks nice. I'll cook you dinner, even. Thanks, dear. I'll help you.